What's up guys, my name is Aiden Tawaras, and in this video I'm going to be talking about what is QEMU. So QEMU is an open source machine emulator and virtualizer similar to VirtualBox or VMware. It's a machine virtualizer and it's able to emulate other operating systems on another operating system. So for example, I can run Windows 7 on Arch Linux, which I am running. I have a Windows 7 image on my Arch Linux installation. The reason why you would use QEMU is because of the performance. The performance is much better, in my opinion, to VirtualBox or the others because it uses a lot of different code and in the back end it, it's able to get much better performance, near native performance, by executing the guest code directly on the host CPU. So it's basically it's executing the operating the, the guest operating system's code on the real CPU, like if it was actually really installed. So where does this help us? Well, it lets us run programs that we're really not able to. And the, the example I'm going to be showing later, it kind of proves that point. So there's also another part of that, and that's KVM. Now, you may have heard of KVM. KVM is Kernel Virtual Machine, and it uses and, and it's able to take advantage of the 64-bit processor. And it takes advantage of new technologies in 64-bit processors like uh, um, acceleration, better performance with uh, hypervisors, things like that. And it's able to connect with QEMU and then it's Q QEMU slash KVM and you're able to get almost really better performance all around. The performance without KVM is pretty good, but with KVM, especially if you have a 64-bit processor, then you can get even, even closer to your native. So in this video, I'm not going to be showing you how to make this yet. I will be doing a tutorial series on this QEMU and how to install Windows 7, or you guys can let me know which operating system you would like to be uh, seen as an example. But for this example, I have Windows 7 installed on my machine. So I'll run this command, sudo password, and it will launch right up. We even have audio. So uh, I can do Alt-Ctrl-F. Control, Alt -Control -F which will full screen me. And obviously you know by the name of the user here, it's called render. So you know what this computer, this, this image is used for. And as you heard when we booted up, we have audio. And I can see in my OBS screen, you're hearing that. So why am I using Windows 7 on, on Arch Linux? And what is the purpose of this? It's because the near data performance and the, the ease of use, right? So for me, I'm, I'm making v new videos where I'm not switching to Windows 10 or rebooting my machine. And the reason is for this is for the ease of use and um, the speed of work. I need to be able to sit down at my desk and do work very quickly, very efficiently, and not be thrown out of the environment so jarringly. Like, if I make a video in Linux, I have to be able to uh, up bring it to Windows 10 with me and then render it. It's a whole big process. But with QEMU and Windows 7... I'm running near native performance. I have near native performance on my Arch Linux box where I can run Photoshop and Premiere and they work very, very well. And the last video that I uploaded, the uh, what is tilde, that was the first video I've rendered and edited and made a thumbnail for on Windows 7 in QEMU. My videos in the past, many of them have been rendered in Canon Live and Premiere and Photoshop, a bunch of them. I've tried tons and tons of different editors. And more recently, in the last maybe 10 videos, they've mostly been done in Premiere and Photoshop. But the last video was the very first video I ever edited and rendered and uploaded that was done in a QEMU virtual machine. And that's really cool. I like that. Even though I have to use Windows, but I, it, it, it does fit into my workflow very well. And in the, very f in the coming days expect a tutorial on QEMU and I'm just going to uh, getting ready to set up for that and just getting all the information ready to make it the most encompassing tutorial out there so that you're able to really be able to get this down and manage it. So that's going to be it for this short little video on QEMU, just a basic overview of what it is. What do you want to see in the tutorial series? Which operating system would you like to see installed? Leave it all in the comment section below, and then we can work out to make a really amazing tutorial together. As always, my name is Anton Suarez. Please rate, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.